Hi, my name is Aindam Twini. I am 22 years of age. I was born in Gwamhlanga. I'm the third born out of four children that my mom has. I come from a very loving and supportive family. I am a model, I do pageants, and recently I have had a privilege to be exposed to the organizing part of pageants, all thanks to Miss Phenomenal Organization. And my interest, I've always aspired to be a radio broadcaster, a television presenter, as well as a voiceover artist. And currently I am working as an administrator. Now, growing up, I wanted to become an actor, and I think that was inspired by my love for TV until I was introduced to soccer, um, ladies soccer. I started playing ladies soccer, and yeah, I fell in love with it, and I started, you know, imagining myself, you know, playing for big teams like Banyana Banyana, and that was my dream, you know, to, to, to grow and also play for Banyana Banyana. So I was 11 years old when I started um, playing soccer and I remember this correctly because it was in 2010 when the whole FIFA World Cup was playing which made it more interesting you know because I was introduced into it and now we had to watch it and it made it more interesting because I would know some of the terms oh you know and know what is happening and understand what is happening because i'm watching this and this is something that i was doing every day and it was very nice it was enjoyable because on weekends we would you know have tournaments and go play with other teams it was it was really amazing now fast forward to 2011 i was 12 years by the time and yeah this is the year that really changed my life completely the year that was the toughest for both me my family and everyone around me you know i remember it was school holidays and um, i remember it was a tuesday afternoon and the plan was that i'm not gonna go to a soccer practice i wasn't feeling like going there you know and i told my mom you know that day i was like you know today i don't feel like going to the field you know and my mom was like okay no cool it's okay just go do your hair i left i went to my friend's house and this friend of mine her sister used to do my hair from time to time not every time uh, when i got there um she did my hair so she finished earlier so she finished earlier so this friend of mine I, I was she was also a soccer player so we were in the same team so every day when we go to the soccer field we would go together me and her so we just convinced each other and we're like let's 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 just go let's just go because we were so bored and i didn't even tell my mom my, my mom thinks no i'm not the i'm not going to the soccer field i didn't tell her and i decided that i'm gonna go got there started playing and you know i fell <laughs> i remember that the pain was was really severe it was really painful at that time after falling and um i cried and i decided you know what i can't play now let me just wait outside in the soccer field outside the soccer field and i was limping i remember i i, I was limping i was crying and i went out of the soccer field and i stayed there for like um 20 minutes or so and i thought it was a minor thing i mean we fall all the time when you play soccer you fall all the time it happens it's normal i felt like my knee was better and i went back in and i continued play after that i went back home but i could feel that you know something is wrong because as i was going home i was limping and i was so dirty you know i was so dirty i got home and my mom was so like furious with me looking at the clothes the way i was so dirty me and she was like you're not supposed to do that you're not supposed to do that you said you're not going there and i was like I felt it happens. I felt like going. I explained to her that I was not going, but I finished my hair earlier and I decided that I'm going to go to the field. I slept that night and I remember the following day, it was on a Wednesday. So this happened, it was on a Tuesday. So on a Wednesday, I woke up and it was a normal day. I was still limping. And I was still having like pains. It was not too much, but I was having pains on my knee. And I remember by four o'clock, we would normally go to the soccer practice. And I was like, I'm going to go again. But um, I'm not sure if I'm going to play because I'm having like 
it's so painful and i went back to the field that day i was limping going to the field but i i, I attempted to play but i couldn't play that day it was yeah it, like i was feeling pains i couldn't do it so i stayed out of the soccer field the whole time and i was just watching so as i got home i'm telling my mom i'm like yo i this is painful um yeah it's 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 getting worse the pain is getting worse and my mom was like are you gonna be better you know i drank like your painkillers and i slept you know the following day yeah i was i was now having severe pains i was crying the whole time i remember my my mom was doing laundry you know on a thursday i remember i think she didn't have money to take me to a doctor at that time and my mom quickly went to my coach's house and she went there and she, she told them she was like mm -mm, i'm having a trouble here my daughter is there at the house she's crying she's in pain so what do we do now you know what do we do and um they came you know they came to me and when we got home they, they decided that, you know what, let us just go to the hospital. You know, I went to the hospital with them. They took me to the hospital. When we got there, um, obviously, they took x-rays of my knee. Um, and then they gave me medication. They said I must come back the following day, which was on a Friday, and come back uh, for results. Went back to the hospital that Friday. And, yeah, I got the results. And my knee was fractured and swollen so what the nurses did they put a back slap in on my knee they put a back slap and they also booked me an appointment at another hospital to to go see a doctor there I mean I went back home um, they gave me medication um, it helped me for those few hours and then I remember that night I struggled to sleep again and I remember I needed help to move from one place to another. I needed to go to a loo. They needed to help because, yeah, my, my, my knee was really painful. Medication will help me for, you know, a few hours. After that, I started having pains. I started crying. And it was really bad. Um, and I remember the following day, my mom, um, she was busy. So she spoke to my coach and they arranged the transport for me. And... Yeah, they took me to that hospital to go see a doctor. Again, when I got there, the doctor was not there. And they were telling us that they're going to book us an appointment. Mind you, this was on a Saturday. So they're telling us that we need to come back the following week on a Thursday. And that's where the doctor will be at the hospital. Like At that time, I'm, I'm having severe pains. I'm crying. I can't do anything. I need help to be carried around and it was it was really it was really painful and we had to come back um came back home that night i couldn't sleep on a saturday i was in pains i couldn't sleep on a sunday i was in pains and my family was now frustrated because they didn't know what to do um they they felt like they were helpless i felt like i was helpless because here i am i'm crying i'm having this pain and there's nothing they can do because the medication they're giving me they're giving me and it's only for like few hours you know and after that i'm having this pains and it was really painful it was really horrible you know and um the weekend passed i was in pains and on a monday the following Monday, um, when I woke up in the morning, I was bleeding now. You know, I was, I had fever, I was bleeding. And my mom was like, this is, this is beyond, this is beyond her. Yeah, they rushed me to a doctor and the doctor um, removed the, the, the back slap that I had. Um, I had on my knee and then he you know did his own x-rays and he checked me basically and then um the results came and then so now he removed to the back slab and he put a full cast on my knee you know from the above the knee to the toes and i went back home so that week i was fine with that cast and i was no longer having pains 
and I was okay. I was drinking medication, thinking everything is going to be fine. And I remember that Thursday when I was supposed to go to that hospital and see a doctor, I didn't go because obviously on a Monday, um, I had already seen a doctor. Fast forward, um, the it was a weekend that same week i was okay from a monday after seeing a doctor I was okay monday until friday um and then on a saturday again the knee started started having pains i started yeah it was now bad i started having fever again i started bleeding again sunday and then on a monday my family decided that uh, uh, this is beyond them. They need to take me to the same doctor that put on a, a cast because now I was getting worse. I was getting worse. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. And then they took me to the same doctor. The same doctor was like, I need to refer her to the hospital. Mind you, the cast is still there. My leg is still there. And then at the hospital, they referred me to another hospital on the same day. And I think that was, that is, that is as far I can remember because I remember after I saw myself getting to hospital, but I didn't see, I saw myself getting to another hospital. And after that, that was it. I couldn't see anything. And I don't know what happened after that. Um, but apparently, according to what my family has told me, I stayed, um, I stayed in that second hospital um, for about three days and they didn't do anything they didn't remove the cost I was just there until my mom was like you guys are gonna help her I'm gonna transfer her to another hospital or I'm going with her and that is when they decided that they're gonna send me to transfer me to the hospital and um, yeah Things got tense. I was I didn't see anything, um, but that is when when my mom got there, um, they remove the cast, and the leg apparently it was black, you know it was black, and they tried to you know they, they they were convincing my mom if and telling her that if there's anything they can do to save the leg they will do it, but at this point it seems like the leg is no longer functioning and then um my mom was like you can do anything you know uh just try to save it they tried you know they tried you know the doctors tried but they they, they had to let my mom that in order for her to save my life she needs to sign the papers um and they need to amputate my leg i think um that is one of the hardest things she had to to do i mean being told that in order to save your child's life you need to sign papers and you need to sign that her leg be amputated and you know she said to me that she was stuck you know she th there was a lot going on in her mind and she was like you know what if 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 this thing that i'm gonna sign for is gonna save her life then let it be you know let it be and she signed and they amputated my leg and yeah and um she said i stayed in high icu for like um a week a week or so yes i stayed in icu for like a week and as for me <laughs> i remember when i woke up <laughs> Ooh, it was oh there's just a lot of emotions going on but it was it was it was really it was really hard <laughs> it was really hard because all i th i thought about i think one thing i thought about was i'm never going to be able to play again how are people going to see me now i'm now going to be using a wheelchair those were like a lot of thoughts that were going on in my mind and i remember crying and saying i need it back i need it back i need it back I don't know who told you to take it out but i need it back you know i was fighting the nurses and i was like i need it back and unfortunately by that time they had taken it off and i needed to come to terms with it and yeah i come to terms with the fact that it's not there 
you know because i'm here i'm looking at it and i'm like i only see one and the other one i don't see it happened and there was just a lot of things going through my mind there was just a lot of things going through my mind i was i was so confused i was a child i was young and i was angry and i was i was just yeah it was the hardest thing that i ever had to experience <laughs>